Sit down, sit down, I've got a story to tell. Sit down, I've got a story to tell. Sit down, sit down, I've got a story to tell. What's going on, YouTube? Sitting here with We Are One. We got Smokey B and Gangrene. Shout um, out to Domino's. <laughs> We're gonna eat some Domino's pizzas and talk some shop because these guys got a lot going on. You guys recently just came into the, your new name. Uh, like, if, I, you don't have to like, explain the reasons why, but give me a little bit in, uh, into the We Are One, like how you guys came up with that. I mean, the Prophet 16 is what is what we were formerly known as, which you already know, but it was three guys and it was our first project everyone has a first project that doesn't really make it to the top you know mm -hmm. um, I feel like this one's a lot more full I feel it's a lot more relatable Definitely. the type of music or the type of elements that we're adding into our music aren't so grimy and dark as they normally were you know what I'm saying for the most part um, I just think it fits us more and it's a I think it's a little more professional in a sense me and him are going hard on this on this side here uh, there's multiple reasons, which, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm not going to elaborate for everybody. We're a rap group, but at the same time, in all, in all essence, we're a band still. You know what I'm saying? People even call us a rap band. It sounds goofy, but it works. <laughs> it does. Um, it really works. We, we, we go up, like we talked about earlier, we go up to Whiskey at the Damn shows, Irish punk rock shows, and go rock the stage with them. We've uh, done a split show with a metal band called Woe to the Earth out of Kenosha. They're really good friends of ours. EDM. We've done we've done some EDM mixes. Our guy Bobby Blaze does a lot of trap and EDM. Basically, we hit so many areas with our music that we want to bring everything together as one solid piece. We love playing shows so much, and I think we've got to the point where when we go to play a show, we we're entertainers. So when we're going to play a show, we want to make sure that the crowd has the best experience that they possibly can have when we do our music. You know, we try to interact with the crowd as much, pick relatable songs to the crowd we're playing for, you know what I'm saying? We, we cater to the need of the crowd because it's something that we love to do. Every single one of our shows, bro, you can catch us drinking with the fans afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Unless we ain't drinking that night, you can still catch us kicking it out there. <laughs> You'll find us selling our CD on a corner somewhere, or uh, in the, you know what I'm saying, somewhere in the venue. We usually got a merch table. But anytime that we have our free time and we're not doing a show or we're not working, we're going to make it out to see oh, someone yeah. else perform, you know, meet new contacts, everything. It's... We're at an event every week. Yeah. Every week, if not multiple. <laughs> and I mean, even if they're not ours. And but that's yeah. a, the, another thing with the promotion, too, you know what I'm saying? You build a bond with your fans, you know what I'm saying? They're more likely to go spread the word even more to their friends, you know? And I mean, yeah. and, and, and the difference is, too, is like I said, how like a lot, there are artists out there that don't fuck with their people. Mm -hmm. Or don't talk to their people and stuff like that. Or they do online, but not in person, you know what I'm saying? Like... We've had a million fans that turned like really good friends. To be completely honest, I've always said that our internet following does not follow or reflect how big our actual following is. I've seen a lot of different groups make a, make a go at it and you guys inspire me to try hard to do more because every time I see you guys got something new coming up. <laughs> so April 1st, I got my first mixtape coming out, first official mixtape I printed, uh, Calm Before the Storm. I can't wait to release it, man. It's been so much fun recording it, getting the videos ready for it. Uh, we're gonna be doing a show at Hat Tricks April first to release it. We just really, we just keep doing shows. We got some projects coming out. My next one is Fixation, scheduled to, to drop in May. Okay. It's just uh, not a definite day yet, but April's a little too busy to put it in there. And you have um, the Bread and Water release out. Yeah, Bread and Water came out last May. Which is awesome. The video is awesome. You guys also do a lot of um, uh, like instantaneous videos, like uh, not really like pre planned like on the spot videos, which get a lot of views. They're actually really good. Yeah. They're decent. I mean, we get we get plenty of play. You know what I mean? I think with the videos too, when you put the videos of you just in your element doing your thing, more people see that and they want to see you how you're doing your shit, you know? Right. It's not just like, oh, it's another music video. It's actually, hey, he's recording himself sitting here making music. There was one other question I wanted to ask you, and then I'll uh, let you guys uh, plug any other shows or any other upcoming things you guys might have forgotten. But how did you guys um, get started with the Rebel stage? Actually, um, we do a lot of our own shows hosting at Hatchick's Bar in Kenosha. Mm -hmm. 
and they support sound for Summerfest for the Rebel stage. Tracy and Gordy. Right. Tracy and Gordy. They, own a, they own a hat tricks on right. 60th Street, and then right down the corner they got a new spot called Bourbon Legends. That's a really cool whiskey bar and grill okay. that they opened up. They have a day where they bring all Kenosha artists out, and they just let everyone do their thing, you know, for providing the sound for the stage. And they offered us, once we did a couple shows with them, we went up there, played with rock bands, metal bands, punk bands, and then when we met Owen, and Jim, they seen our set and they liked us, so we kind of kept in contact with them and they invited us out the year after that and that's when we really established ourselves at the Rebel Stage. Awesome. We just came and we helped out at the merch table all day. We'd go out and promote, you know, when we were at the merch table. We just stayed and kept working at the stage. I bought all the merchandise they had on the first day because I loved it. Yeah. So, uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Before we, um, before we call it quits, was there anything else that you might have forgotten that you want to plug? But yeah, man, we got a lot going on in April. We got, like he said, his uh, release party coming out April 1st. Yep. And then our boy Damian Quinn from uh, LSP, Lyrical Snuff Productions, is bringing ABK, a psychopathic records, out to Kenosha. And then they're bringing it up to Green Bay the next day. So the second and third, we're doing that. We got Stitches on the 14th. Yep. But then we were doing a, I guess we just got booked up for a show up in Cudahy with our boy Ryan out of Hotbox Boys the next, the following day. And then my next battle, my second battle on Props Battle League out of Kenosha, will be at Hattricks on the 16th. And then we got Crooked Eye Slaughterhouse back in Illinois on the 22nd. That's the previous week, and then just we right before the tech show. Finish April off on the 29th at the Rave with Tech Nine in the ballroom. We've opened for Tech at the Rave like four or five times. Always side stage through the rave though, but uh, we finally got up on a main stage with a little bit shorter slot than normal. But uh, it's going to be the main stage, so we either rave if it doesn't sell out the Eagles Ballroom. But normally in the spring, this tour is always at the Eagles Ballroom. So uh, we're looking at doing the biggest stage in the building for the first time in Milwaukee. So. Man, that is going to be so awesome. <laughs> I got my ticket already. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thanks for awesome. And then also don't forget to check out all the videos of their awesome music because that's what we're here about. <laughs> YouTube.com slash T-O-O-G-R-E-N-E-1-6. We are awesome.